Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Are you looking out for a reliable income stream all through your life? And if you are looking out for a systematic withdrawal plan or how to create up a regular inflow of money every uh, single month through your investment, then this video is definitely for you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Anand. I've been posting financial contents as well as technical contents on this channel, Macwin. Without any further delay, let's get started with this. So if you are just retired or you're just planning for a financial future, then this video is definitely for you. So watch till the end of this video because I'm going to share a quick tip on how to uh, make a consistent inflow of uh, money into your account. So in today's video, we'll explain the ins and out of an SWP. We call that as a systematic uh, withdrawal plan. So we'll cover the different types of funds which are available, the important rule of thumb and the tax implications, whatever is applicable on all of these kind of uh, investment strategies or your retirement planning things. So the systematic withdrawal plan normally allows you to withdraw a fixed amount of money from your mutual fund. So the only drawback what I see here is the uh, getting that uh, lump sum amount or your uh, the initial investment. So once you have that amount, it's easy for you to get a regular income through your monthly channel or in a quarterly channel or in an early payout. So that's easier. So the only problem here is in getting the uh, initial uh, lump sum money to invest into your mutual fund. So the thing what we are going to consider here is in having uh, different types of scenarios. So if you are a very conservative investor and if you wanted to be on a very safer side, what we could do is we can go with a debt fund kind of an SWP where the returns would be roughly around 8 to 9 percent or if you are a little bit of a risk taker then you can go with an in, uh, equity kind of an investment so where uh, we'll try in the, uh, investment on a nifty index and we'll see how that returns out so we can keep a CAGR of roughly around 12 percent and if you are a, a risk taker and if you wanted to really risk out things and see how this progresses then we've got another type of fund as well which I'll cover in the later part of this video. The nifty normally gives you a safe 12 percent of uh, uh, returns but always do consider that uh, you need to always uh, Take care of inflation adjusted values as well because every year there is an inflation happening as well we keep that value around five to six percent as well because that withdrawals again maintain your purchasing power over time so the rule of thumb on your sap is like uh, very simple always uh, try to calculate your early expense like how much is the expenses for you early and uh, multiply that amount by 30 so that's going to be your investment amount and that will be the total money that you're going to invest then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to withdraw some portion of your investment from that. So that could be roughly around 5 to 6 percent of your investment. So in this example what I'm going to show is I'm going to uh, have a lump sum investment of roughly around uh, 2 crore rupees. So if uh, I have uh, saved up uh, roughly around 2 crore rupees then uh, I'll calculate this uh, in this example. So I'm giving um, my initial investment as uh, 2 crores and I'm going to uh, hold them for uh, the first year. I'm going to defer my withdrawal for first year. There's something called as exit load in every mutual fund. So we need to take care of that as well. And uh, we also have uh, short term capital gains as well. So the exit load is something which is charged by every mutual fund company. And uh, normally they uh, have an exit load of one year. So it is always better to keep your funds uh, uh, in the mutual fund for one year and start the redemption after the first year of that. And you'll be also able to see the 5% of your uh, capital gains as well. So uh, we have uh, the long term capital gains is anything that is over uh, 1 lakh. So that is uh, taxed at about 10% uh, and uh, anything which is short term that's going to be uh, charged at about 15%. So to evade both the uh, short term capital gains as well as your exit load, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, make my investment, uh, the holding my investment uh, for one year because I'm not going to withdraw during this period to avoid both of these. and. Um, and the monthly uh, withdrawal amount I'm going to set them is um, which is going to be 5% uh, of my uh, 2 crores so 5 to 6% I can keep so the 5% would roughly come to about uh, 10 lakhs uh, per annum so I'll uh, for calculative purposes I'll write it as 85,000 here and uh, the duration I'm planning for the next uh, 25 years so I'm 45 now so I'm planning at least uh, 70 years of age and uh, the returns I'm going to calculate it as like 8% that's going to be my debt uh, kind of an investment. I'm going to be a safe investor this time and I'm going to um, you can uh, work out on your uh, tax rates so you can go with uh, that. The inflation I'm going to set it as 6% and when I press on calculate now you'll be able to see uh, there's an excel sheet which is showing up here and um, you can see that uh, my investment is going to be uh, starting up from um, 
uh, the first year, the withdrawal, the first SWP is going to start from the first year uh, after deferring the first year. You can see that the total withdrawal amount is roughly going to be like 5 crores and 62 lakhs and uh, the profit is uh, 4 crores and 65 lakhs. So I'll be able to uh, run for the next 25 years. So this corpus of 2 crores that I've got will automatically uh, take my living for the next 25 years. Uh, by the end of this as well, I'll be having a, a closing balance of 1 crore and 19, 19 lakhs as well on this uh, way of uh, in uh, SWP. Now if I'm going to try with uh, increasing up the rate of return from, you could see the chart here as well, um, that um, my uh, growth over year on year is automatically reducing because I've given the uh, rate of return as 8%. You could see here the uh, value is like reducing and you can see the profit is uh, totally reducing after a period of time. And you could see that uh, these are the values uh, that are showing up. The first year it has generated up a growth of 16 lakhs. The next year it is creating up a growth of uh, 1 lakh and 38,000. And every month I'm going to withdraw 85,000 from my account and uh, that's the growth which is adding up to my um, SWP as well. The value gets automatically compounded up. And you could see here after the uh, end of first year, um, you can see um, it's an automatic 6% uh, inflation adjusted value that's getting added up to my withdrawals. And you can see um, the increase in the monthly withdrawal amount as well that how much I'm going to withdraw from the account. So those, I'll leave the link to this document uh, below. You will be able to uh, evaluate that as well by giving up your uh, lump sum amount, how much you hold and how much you plan to withdraw every month from this as a fixed income uh, to your account and how much, uh, how many years you'll be able to sustain with this kind of an investment into it. Now uh, for a better purpose, uh, for a better understanding, what I'll do is I'll try changing to uh, this 8% uh, CAGR to be 12%. Uh, I'll go with the next uh, way of uh, investment where I'm going to invest in a Nifty 50 index. So you could go with any Nifty index. So Nifty roughly has given around 12% uh, of uh, index value uh, in the last 20 years. So you can go with the 12% value here. So now if I try to change my uh, value to be like 12% with the Nifty 50 index, you could see that uh, when I press calculate now, you'll be able to see that these values automatically get changed up and it shows that uh, I'm going to get a corpus of uh, um, the corpus should be able to take or sustain for the next 25 years without any interruption and I'll be able to get a huge lump sum when the uh, in the by the end of uh, 25 years and now if I have to change this uh, or if you plan to change the uh, monthly withdrawal amount to a better one and you wanted to increase something more than this say for example I wanted it to be uh, somewhere around uh, one and a half lakhs so uh, when I click on uh, calculate now, you'll be able to see that whether my fund will be able to sustain this. It shows that uh, the fund that I hold now will be uh, able to sustain only for 21 years. So uh, what I could do is I can uh, try reducing that to like 1.25 lakhs or roughly around 1 lakh. So when I make it as 1 lakh, you could see that it is automatically able to sustain for the next 25 years and uh, I'll be still able to hold a corpus of roughly about uh, 11 crores as well in this. So when I give the uh, um, monthly withdrawal amount as uh, 2 lakhs, you could see that it is just lasting for 13 years. So uh, what I could do is like instead of going with your uh, traditional or the more conservative uh, uh, debt fund way or um, in the uh, other way, what I could do here is I'll go to a comparison of all the mutual funds. We've got something called as hybrid funds. So these hybrid funds are of various types. Uh, we have aggressive hybrid fund as well as your uh, um, conservative hybrid funds. So the aggressive hybrid funds normally what they do is they invest 65% uh, of the funds into equity and 35% uh, into debt funds. So that gives you an average uh, compounded value of roughly around 22%. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase that for this demo I'm going to take it as 20% and when I give that value you will be able to see that uh, I will be able to withdraw 22 lakhs per uh, month uh, as per uh, my requirements and uh, the last SWP you can see that that with the uh, inflation adjusted value I'll be able to withdraw almost 8 lakhs from per month from this. So because I'm going to increase my monthly withdrawal values as well. So I can in fact even go till 2.5 lakhs as well and uh, you can see that uh, this copper should uh, take me for the next 25 years. And still I'll be able to hold a return of at least 13 crores from this investment because I've gone with the uh, hybrid aggressive mode and you will be able to see here that I'll be able to still hold uh, 13 crores and 16 lakhs into this. And the last withdrawn amount, uh, the SWP amount will be roughly around 10 lakhs uh, 79,000.
So if you go for a um, conservative hybrid fund, you will be able to see that uh, this roughly matches your uh, Nifty 50 index, maybe like 1 or 2% uh, more than that. So for this demo, what I'll do is I'll make it as like 14%. And when I press calculate now, you could see that it lasts only for 11 years. So that I have to reduce my uh, monthly withdrawals as well. And um, you can just try experimenting with 2 crores and you could see that it uh, lasts only for 16 years. So uh, the rate of returns would automatically get reduced. So uh, if at all you plan for um, an SWP with an automatic uh, take up uh, monthly withdrawals, I would recommend you always to go for a 5 to 6% of value. And uh, with a 2 crore of uh, capital influx into the SWP plan, I'll be able to withdraw at least uh, 1 to 1.25 crores at lakhs per month uh, for the next 25 years without any issue, thereby compounding my capital as well, living up with a secured um, another uh, source of funds for my day-to-day uh, -day living as well. And uh, this will be in par with your uh, nifty uh, returns. And um, the things that you have to note here is that uh, you need to take care of your uh, personal taxes as well because that comes separate besides the, uh, the uh, long-term capital gains. And uh, do consider that before going into your SWP plan. And uh, if you have a better urge or a better appetite, you can go with the hybrid aggressive funds which I just shared here in this. You'll be able to experiment on those kind of plans as well. So to summarize all of these, the SWBs can be a powerful tool for generating a steady income from your investment. And uh, if you found this video really helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. And subscribe to our channel for more such financial tips and insights. And thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.